How's it going? Brian here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2017 Kia Soul, we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Helium Pro 2 bike rack. Now this is going to carry a total of up to two bikes. However, if you need to carry an extra one, there's also a three bike version available as well. One of the main things that separates this rack from many of the others is that it's made from aluminum. So it's going to be extremely lightweight and easy to handle and we're not gonna to have to worry about any rust or corrosion issues either. Now, one of the main questions our customers ask us in regards to bike racks is if they're still going to have full access to their hatch. Well, with this one, the answer is yes, because it does fold down out of the way. It's really easy, pull up on your lever, push it down, and then we're gonna have more than enough space to get all of our gear in and out. Now, our bike's going to be held down in place at three points. We're going to have two straps here along the top two, and we're going to have a strap down here as well. That's actually going to be an anti-sway strap, and that's going to help prevent any side-to-side -side movement. And to give you a little extra peace of mind, there is an integrated lock that you can pull out, clip into place. That way we don't have to worry about any theft. Now before we take the bike off the rack to take a better look at it, there is something I noticed and want to point out to you guys. The height of the rack is going to sit just about right in my opinion. It's going to be up high enough that we are able to see and keep an eye on our bike, but it's not going to sit up so high that it's going to impair or block our vision as we look through our rear view mirror to see what's going on behind us. To get the bike off, it's really simple. Just push down on your tabs, lift the straps up and out of the way. We're able to take our bike off and set it to the side. The cradles where our bike's frame is going to sit are somewhat adjustable and that's going to accommodate many different styles of frames that your bike might have. And they're also going to be made from a soft rubber material as well as the bottom of the straps. That way we don't have to worry about scratching or damaging our bike's finish. And when we're not using it, I do recommend to pop your straps back in place. That way we don't have to worry about losing them. Now, whenever we have our bike rack on the back of our Kia, it is going to extend the overall length of the vehicle. And by exactly how much, from the hatch to the edge of the rack, it's going to be about 33 inches. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're pulling into a tight parking spot or even your garage. Now the arms do fold down to free up a little bit of space. To do that, pull up on your lever, and just swing them down. Now in this position, from the hatch to the furthest point is about 18 inches. So with that being said, whenever it's stored like this, shouldn't really give you any issues at all in those tight spots or garages. And one last thing you're gonna have to worry about losing or keeping track of is a pen and clip. And that's because this one already has one that's built in. So this is going to work with both two inch by two inch hitches like we have here today, as well as inch and a quarter hitches. And that's great, especially if you plan on using this for multiple different vehicles. Now it's also gonna have a knob here, and whenever you tighten that down, that's actually going to secure the rack to the hitch. And it's also going to act as a stabilization device, which will take out all of that play and movement in the connection point. So to give you an example, if I put a little bit of movement on our rack, we're not going to get any rattle down there. It'll actually move the whole car. So overall, a really nice compact rack that's going to look great on the back of your Kia Soul. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium Pro 2 bike rack on our 2017 Kia Soul.